Hi, I'm Slate Tuckington, your host of Green Nouns. Hi, in this episode, we'll be going through trees, shrubs, and more trees. I just recently just prepared some samples of trees and shrubs. And I have them laid out in here in front of me. Now this is one of my favorite trees. This is the the western red cedar. You just smell it. You can smell it in it. This is Thuya plicata. And you can tell by the way that the twigs break back. They break back. Like that. You see that? And that's how I usually tell that it's Thuya plicata. So, our next sample is a pinus. Now, this has two needle, needles, little, they're like little leaflets per fascicle. You can see it there. And you can tell that it is a pinus by the way it bends. It bends pretty well. Okay, the next one, this, not a tree or a shrub. Got ya. Got ya. Okay. The last, the shrub. You'll find this everywhere. Here. To be specific. Now, this is Symphoricarpus albus. It grows in wet places, warm places, dry places, your places, my places, and it's a shrub as you can see. It's very shrub-like. Let's go find some more. Oh, hi there. And now for our next plant, I brought in a local botanist, botanist, <laughs> Scroggy Chum, to help us out with this next plant. Come on in, Scroggy. Now, he works around these, these shrubs all the time. And you can, you can tell, you can, you can really tell that he knows what he's, what he's looking for when he's IDing for a plant. Just by smell, Scroggy here, he can, he can ID this plant. Uh, that ain't true, man. No, I just tell by the fuzzy bud. That's an onus in Canada. Well, he tells by the fuzzy buds, and you can see by the fuzzy buds, it's an onus in Canada. A very special plant to these streams here, native to where Scroggy's from. What else, Scroggy, can you tell us about these these onus in Canada? They got these little cone thingies. See by the cones, he's he's relating the cones, so they must be uh, a conifer, meaning cone bearing. Now, that's probably what we're talking about here. Why don't we get into the shot, Scroggy? As you can see, it's a wonderful plant. It's a wonderful plant. Well, we'll catch you next time on another episode of Green Nouns. Thanks, all. Cause they saw their friend go down They all knew in a second or two He'd be crushed or frozen or drowned They saw him fall and they heard him call Just once and then it was over Young Sandy Gray gave his life that day Near the mouth of the Musquash River but Sandy Gray was not afraid And he let out a mighty yell I'll be damned, we'll break this jam Or it's breakfast in hell, boy It's breakfast in hell